Do you know that you can make money selling pictures online? You want to know how? Stick around. I'll show you how. Hey guys, welcome back. So there won't be any much of an introduction today because I actually shot a video about this like four months ago. That was like in January. I'll just play the video for you right here. And once you're done, I will share with you some websites that you can start today. And I'll also share some examples of my own photos that I have on the platform so you can see and have some idea about what kind of picture you might be able to post. If your hobby is to travel to a lot of places and snap a lot of pictures, you can also post them on there and also make money off of your hobby. You can just go around snapping pictures and post them there and begin earning revenue without having to do that much again. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 5 of the 10 episode series. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, my name is Harris Kari and today we're going to be talking about stock images and videos. So this is like episode 5 of my 10 episode series that I started a while ago about how to make money online in Nigeria 2020. I decided to just explain everything about each and every one of them. So without taking much of our time, let's just get into it. So first of all, what is stock photography? Stock photography is the supply of photographs which are often licensed for specific uses. So let me use our basic science school definition method. Stock photography is the process whereby one group of people go out, snap pictures and post it on a website and then another set of people go to the website looking for pictures to buy and use for maybe some kind of projects or something. So you just snap pictures, post on a website or videos or something. Then other people come to the website looking for pictures and videos for specific uses so they now get your video, download it. Once they buy your picture or video, you just get notified about a sale. And that's how simple this is. I know it kind of sounds too good to be true. Well, maybe. Depending on the website you're using or maybe the application you're using on your phone, you know, there are kind of requirements that some of them need for a picture to have, like maybe the clarity, the focus, and all those kind of things. Like, you know, you need to have all those kind of things intact before they approve a picture. So you can't just snap a blurry picture and just post it there and uh, expect them to approve. Because even if you post the picture, you have to wait for them to approve the picture before it goes into the store. So when, once it's approved, it goes into the store, you can uh, start expecting someone to buy it. But sometimes it might take time before someone gets a picture. Because it depends on the season and you know the person that is looking for the picture. And depending on the picture you post to. Because for example, we're in January now. And uh, in some places it's still winter. And in some places it's kind of like warm, you know. So if you snap a picture of... <laughs> Well, I don't even go there because we're in Nigeria. But for example, now you are kind of in, you know, the U.S. somewhere where there's snow. So you just snap a picture of a snowy surrounding, you know, just an, just a picture of maybe a car covered in snow or something. Just snap a picture, post it there. You know, when everything is intact, the clarity, the focus and everything. So they approve the picture and someone is looking for a picture about winter and maybe like you know car covered in snow and they now fortunately stumble on your picture they might be like wow i've been looking for this picture all around you know so they go straight to purchase a picture and instantly you get paid for a picture it's that easy you know the only complication is when it comes to the whole focus and everything well i would suggest if you're going for something like this it's either you have a camera or maybe you have a good camera smartphone. You can even use any kind of phone, you know? It depends on how good you are at snapping pictures. That's why I said you need to learn. You remember in the first video when I was talking about learning these things before you go into them, but thankfully this one, you don't have to spend your money before you go into. You just need to know how to snap your pictures and just post them there. Record videos. The videos need to be very, very good. I repeat this very very good because uh, I think I have like almost like 40 something pictures on my Shutterstock account but I still haven't had any video that was approved because you know it's kind of very difficult to get uh, all those kind of videos they need because the quality of the video you're talking about is uh, well it's it's possible to get that but you need to have a skill you need to have like a professional skill or maybe you need to just know your camera and know the kind of movements and everything you need to do. You know, sometimes in some cameras or maybe some phones, once you just move the camera a bit, the focus might change and it might blur what you're trying to get. And that whole thing messes up your whole video and uh, they might not approve because of that. But if you are recording a blurry video and uh, you kind of made it visible there in the description that this is a blurry video and you clearly state that this is a blurry video, you did it intentionally. Yeah, maybe they might decide to, you know, just take your video as a blurry video because there might be people looking for those kind of blurry videos. 
so don't be scared to try this this is very easy this is very welcoming because uh, I also started with my phone when I was doing this but right now I bought a new camera the Panasonic Lumix GX1 and I'm really enjoying this camera it's good you know but anyway it gives me clear pictures that I need it's just the videos that sometimes I need to work on something to get those clear videos that I need but I'll, we'll get there you know so anyway their website I'll link in my description you can check them their iStock um, Shutterstock Getty Image I'll list them all there so you can just check there um, go register on all of them if possible because I have accounts on all of them so just do that and uh, get your account set and just start posting pictures and I hope to see you there bye almost anybody can sell in this thing all the way from photographers, graphic designers, even animators can make money on this. It's in a way a passive method of income because you do all the work in the beginning and you reap what you sow passively afterwards. Question of the day, what kind of pictures are you more interested in? Is it nature? Is it tech? Is it graphic design? Is it moods? Is it animations? Anyway, mine is nature. And I will share some examples of my own pictures right after the video. And the links to all the websites will be in my description. So if you're ready to start this thing, go ahead and click on any of them or maybe all of them and begin today. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash the like button. And if you want to watch more of this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.